The fourth hadith, the virtue of seeking forgiveness and supplicating in the last part of the night. An Abi Hurairata radiallahu anhu, anna Rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqaal, yanzilu rabbuna tabaraka wa ta'ala kulla laylatin ila samaa al-dunya, hina yabqa thuluthu layl al-akhir, fayaqulu man yad'uni fa'astajibalah, من يسألني فأعطيه من يستغفرني فأغفر له متفق عليه Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu narrated that Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Our Lord descends every night to the sky of the dunya when the last third of the night remains and he says who is calling on me so that I may forgive him who is calling on me so that I may answer him who is asking me so I may give him, who is seeking my forgiveness so I can forgive him, agreed upon. The hadith is evidence for the virtue of supplication, asking and seeking forgiveness in the last part of the night, and that the supplication made at that time is answered if the conditions are fulfilled and the obstacles are eliminated. This is because Allah the Most High promised an answer for those who supplicate to him, goodness to those who ask him, and forgiveness for those who seek his forgiveness. Allah the Most High has praised his believing worshippers who will enter paradise and remain therein forever. He mentioned that one of their attributes is asking forgiveness in the last hours of the night. The Most High said, As-sabirina wal-sadiqina wal-qanitina wal-munfiqina wal-mustaghfirina bil-ashar which means those who are patient, those who are true, and obedient with sincere devotion and worship to Allah, those who spend and those who pray and beg Allah's forgiveness in the last hours of the night. And he, the Most High, said, وَبِلْ أَسْحَارِ هُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ which means, and in the hours before dawn, they were found asking for forgiveness. Out of all times, this is the time that the worshiper, especially in the last ten of Ramadan, should take advantage of and not cheapen it by heedlessness, sleep, or laziness. For indeed, it is the time of the divine descending that befits the majesty and greatness of Allah without asking how or likening him to his creation. Al-Qahtani said in his Nuniyya, Wallahu yanzilu kulla akhiri laylatin li samaihi ad-dunya bila kitmani وَيَقُولُ هَلْ مِنْ سَائِلٍ فَأَجِيبَهُ فَأَنَ الْقَرِيبُ أُجِيبُ مَنْ نَدَانِي حَاشَ الْإِلَاهَ بِأَنْ يُكَيِّفُ ذَاتُهُ فَالْكَيْفُ وَالْتَمْثِيلُ مُنْتَفِيَانِ And Allah descends during the last portion of every night to his closest sky without any concealment. He says, Is there anyone asking so that I can answer him? For I am close answering whoever calls me. The one true God forbade that you describe his essence. Indeed, describing and comparisons are both rejected. In these blessed nights, the hour of answering, the divine descending, prostration, and the most noble time, which is Ramadan, are gathered together for the believer. The righteous predecessors from this nation used to devote themselves in the night prayer, especially in Ramadan, emulating their Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu anhum narrated, I heard Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, Inna fi laylati sa'atan la yuwafiquha rajulun muslimun yas'alullaha ta'ala khayran min amr al-dunya wal-akhira illa a'tahu allahu iyyah wa thalika kulla layla. There is an hour during the night in which no Muslim man asks Allah, the Most High, for goodness in the affairs of this world and the next, except he will grant it to him, and that is every night. Therefore, the Muslim must be keen on performing Salat al-Tahajjud, the night prayer, and implementing the causes for the supplication being answered, such as being sincere to Allah, the Most High, having presence of heart, strong hope, and drawing near to Allah, the Most High, through righteous actions, and voluntary acts of obedience, and Allah knows best. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-jannata wa ma qarraba ilayha min qawlin wa amal, 
ونعوذ بك من النار وما قرب إليها من قول وعمل ونسألك الهدى والتقى والعفافة والغناء ومن العمل ما ترضى واغفر لهم لنا ولوالدينا ولجميع المسلمين O Allah, we ask you for paradise and the sayings and actions that will bring us near to it. We seek refuge with you from the fire and the sayings and actions that will bring us near to it. We ask you for guidance and for piety, for chastity and for contentment, and for actions that please you. And forgive us, O Allah, our parents and all the Muslims. <laughs>